He says he's innocent. I, I tried to call him. I hear he's in London. I couldn't get through to him. But I sent an email, and he responded by saying that he was apologetic and said that he would never do anything to tarnish my image. <laughs> but the harm has already been caused, you know. So we, we just have to look forward. Uh, Mr. President, uh, you seem very disappointed in what has actually come out. I just want to find out how your family is coping with all these allegations. And secondly, I also want to ask the coach about what his boss thinks about what Klesman said yesterday, that they will never get into any agreement with the USA. Does Kwasiapia believe in what the coach said and what has the measures they have taken to make sure that the team can qualify to the next stage? Thank you. Well, family issues. I think they are private, but everyone is coping with what has happened. We are trying to manage and get out of the difficulty or the, the, the situation we find ourselves. It's not easy, but we do our best and get out of it. Yeah, thank you very much. I think uh, with the game itself, uh, we did all that uh, was possible to win the match against Germany. That is at the moment we thought uh, the game had been won, but uh, they had a equalizer and we were disappointed. Uh, saying that we have to move on, we are putting everything in place, training the guys very well and uh, trying to make them understand that we just have to take our chances when it comes. And uh, on top of that, we psyching them up for the Portugal game because we know all is not lost yet. So uh, we're doing everything possible for us to be able to uh, give a good account of ourselves when we meet Portugal. Um, we are playing against Portugal and it's a game we need to win. But not only just to win. We need to crash them with more goals to ensure that we put ourselves in a very good position. What will be the tactic you we are going to deploy in going to the game? Is it an all-attacking game that will leave our back uh, exposed for them to also hit us on the break? And also to the Ghana FA, there are rumors that USA and Germany could engage in a match of convenience because a draw will take them both to the next stage of the competition. What are we doing? What measures are we putting in place to ensure that we notify the appropriate uh, authorities to put an eye, keep an eye on that game to ensure that it is played on the on the very, very fair scale to ensure that those who proceed to the next stage deserve to be there. Yes, we will do everything possible to, to win that game against uh, Portugal. Like you said, we will not go attacking them and leave our back open. We will have to just play a compact game and make sure that uh, in a very good position to uh, beat them. But uh, we don't also have to forget that uh, they are still a, fo a force to reckon with. So we have to do that cautiously when we meet them. We will take, uh, we'll be going uh, like at approach the game very cautiously and make sure that the right thing is done. We don't want to think about five, six, seven goals or else we haven't had the first one. So the most important thing is to get the first goal first, and then we take it from there. Well, um, we, we don't have control over that game. The destiny of our team is in our hands. We can only fight to win against Portugal. Regarding the possibility of the match between the USA and Germany being fixed, uh, we are not in that match. We can't do much about it, but we have confidence in FIFA that they will put the necessary mechanisms in place to monitor the two teams. I don't know whether then you had been born. Uh, there, was a, 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 there was an allegation of a fixed match between West Germany then and Austria, which led to the inability of uh, Algeria uh, qualifying. I do not think history will repeat itself. FIFA is very much aware, and that is even one reason why the last group matches are played simultaneously. Before then, they were not played at the same time. So one of the steps that FIFA took was to ensure the matches are played at the same time. I do not think that USA will want to play a face match. Neither do I think that Germany will want to play a face match. 
each and everyone, each one of them will want to top the group. And so the match I expect to be watching. We are all watching with eagle eyes. We just spoke about match fixing a while ago. So my advice to them is the saying that the memory of the dead <laughs> is a warning to the living. If they are alive, they should take a cue from that. Your debut for the Black Stars at the World Cup, I was sitting with a lot of people who reckon to them you were the man of the match. Um, this is your first World Cup. How did you, you know, find that game against such a huge opponent? Thanks very much. <laughs> yeah, I was watching the game, and uh, I was praying Portugal win, but it's rather unfortunate. But I think it's it's part of the game, and we have to move on. All hope is not lost. And uh, talking about the man of the match, I think I really thank God for uh, what he's, he's he's doing in my life now. And uh, I think uh, I'll give credit to my teammates too, because uh, they boosted my morale up, and uh, I, I delivered. Because uh, in football, when you are when you want to be a professional footballer, you also have to listen to advices. I mean, you listen to your technical team. I think everybody was uh, praying for Portugal to win, to for us to get the chance to, I mean, beat uh, Portugal, but unfortunately, it was 2-2, uh, but we are not down yet. All hope is not lost. We still have the chances of qualifying, so we just have to keep working hard and keep, uh, keep the morale up. I think uh, we all hope and pray that uh, Ronaldo doesn't uh, get himself together before uh, our match against them. And uh, we know that he's uh, the best player in the world, but uh, that hasn't uh, yet shown in the World Cup. We know he's a fantastic player, but he's yet to even uh, play 60-70% of the Ronaldo we know. Based on that, we will also capitalize on the situation. We know he's not fully fit, and uh, we will capitalize on that to try to work against that in our favor. So that we can do all we can to also beat Portugal. This is a question uh, from uh, Global TV, uh, local Global TV, and the question is: Since Mr. Montari is not going to be able to play uh, due to his second ye yellow card. Um, what is going to be the tactical change in the Ghanaian team and uh, if there is going to be a tactical change, would it be uh, SEM playing in the midfield for Ghana? Yes, I think uh, we all miss Essien because uh, he's been, uh, we all miss Montari because he's been doing very, very, very well for our team since uh, the competition started. Uh, He's one of our main uh, players we depend so much on. And uh, we also believe in the other guys. So while she's not there, I think uh, we have equally good players who can hold the fort as uh, he serves his, his band. We are not worried. We wish uh, to have him with, with us, but since we, we can't play him, we will make sure that uh, we encourage the other guys who are also in camp training very hard to, to get their chance. So this may be an opportunity for uh, some other player to also show us what he's got. So uh, we're hoping and uh, looking forward to a very, very wonderful match.